Are you amazed by the power of ChatGPT and Bot? Guys, with little bit of Python programming, you can actually make your own chatbot for custom use cases like this, this, or this. Do you want to know how? Well, that's exactly what we are going to discuss in today's video. And the best part is going to be absolutely free and you guys can follow me along. So whether you are a student looking for a resume pointer or a professional wanting to have fun, this video is for you. So there are essentially three things we are going to do in the next 10 minutes or so. First up, we'll build a simple yet powerful version of our chatbot in Python powered by the Google Bard API. This first step is absolutely beginner friendly. Then from there, we are going to step up and build a more sophisticated chatbot for a custom use case, which is text summarization again using Bard API. Why are we using Google Bard API and not ChatGPT, you may ask? Well, the answer is Bard API is absolutely free to access, especially for learning purposes. So all you guys can follow me along and replicate it on your end. But hey, I'll still be discussing ChatGPT API in the third part of this video and briefly cover how you can build a chatbot powered by ChatGPT for the same use case, which is text summarization. On this note, let's begin. To get started, you need two things. Number one, an IDE for Python coding. I'll be using Google Colab in this demonstration, which I find very beginner friendly and easy to use. Second is the API keys for Google Bard and ChatGPT. I'll be showing you the steps to sort of retrieve these keys later in the video when we get there. At this point, let's jump onto the screen recording for our hands-on. So guys, this is our project folder on Google Drive. Uh, for text summarization, I've kept uh, these couple of PDF files over here. Uh, the first one is uh, the famous book called uh, The Art of War. And uh, the second one is a research paper from Google titled Attention is All We Need. I'm sure you would have heard of this. The third file here is uh, the code file. So let's fire it up to get going on uh, building our chatbots. And of course, I'll share a link to this uh, drive folder in the description part of uh, this video so that you guys can access both of these books and the code file. So let's get started. All right, now I'm on Google Colab over here. Uh, to the left, you see the sections of this code file. Uh, as I said a while back, we'll be first building a simpler version of our uh, chatbot, followed by a custom chatbot for the specific use case powered by Bard. Towards the end, we discuss uh, ChatGPT API 2. Uh, on this note, let's begin our code review. All right, let's begin by setting up our environment first. Over here, we are first installing the Bard API Python package. Uh, Bard API returns response of Google Bard uh, through API. For uh, your further reading, I'll put a link to the documentation in the comment section, so you may read that through. Next up, we are importing uh, these essential libraries. All right, as third step here, we need to configure for Bard access. For this, we need to obtain this ID from your uh, browser cookies. And here are the steps to do it. First, go to your Bard window, do a right click, click on inspect. Then within this window on the right, click on uh, application, cookies, and within cookies, you will find bard.google.com, which is the URL. And within this table, you will find your ID, which is over here, over here. And then all you have to do is to copy this. Remember, this is your personal ID, so handle it with care. All right, once you have obtained this ID, replace it uh, over here in this uh, code cell and run it. Now that we have everything in place, let's start with the simplest version of our chatbot. We'll use the Bard API to get answers to our questions. For instance, in this example, we are asking the question, why is the sky blue to our chatbot? And uh, it will provide us with the answer. Let's take a look. As you may see, we got the answer to our question from Google Bard. As we all know that Bard is connected with the internet, unlike ChatGPT, which is trained on data till 2021. So you may even query on the recent events, like what is the current status of Azure series 2023? Let's see what we get. As you may see, we are uh, getting the correct response. Australia is leading the 2023 Azure series right now two is to zero. All right, so this is a simple chatbot powered by Google Bard, allowing you to perform prompting from within your Jupyter notebook. Cool, right? Guys, now when we have successfully configured and tested our Bard powered chatbot, sky is the limit really on the kind of customizations we may build on top of this using Python. So next up, let's jump on to building a custom chatbot. In this section, guys, we are going to build a text summarizer that takes a PDF document as input, which could be a research paper or a book, 
and summarize it into a handful of words. So let's do this. For building our text summarizer, the first thing we need to do is to install this Python library called PyPDF. PyPDF is a free and open source Python library that helps us retrieve text from PDF document, which is something essential for summarizing PDF documents. Okay, once installed, then we import it. Now, as I showed you a while back, I have gathered uh, these couple of PDF documents for uh, this demonstration. Link to this drive folder uh, is in the description part below, guys. I sort of told you a while back. All right, coming back to Collab, to access our PDF documents from within the Google Drive, we need to first mount Google Drive to Collab. So that's what we do over here. We have follow these steps. As next step, I'm declaring the directory to our uh, drive folder and the file names. Here, this attention is all you need is the paper that we'll try summarizing first. Guys, as we all know, BARD has a limit on the input prompt length, which is around 4,000 characters. So we can't send the entire PDF text into a single query for summarization. Rather, what we can do is to find out a way of sending this data into parts. A simple way of doing this is to divide the whole text of the PDF uh, on the basis of pages, which we are following in our case. However, a better strategy is to split the text on the basis of paragraphs, but then it will increase the number of API calls that we'll have to make and thereby increasing the overall compute time. So we are going to go with the simpler approach over here. So here in this uh, next code cell, we are calling the PDF reader module from PyPDF to read the text from our PDF document one page at a time and store it in this uh, empty list called text. Let's run it. This next step is uh, sort of optional for you. Here we have uh, this function called uh, join elements that merges text from multiple pages stored in our list as single element. See, the idea here is this. Bard has prompt length limits, but it's still a sizable 4,000 characters at this point. So again, for the sake of reducing the number of API calls, what we can do is to actually merge multiple pages of text into one. And over here in this code, I'm actually merging three pages of text into one and storing it into this new list, which I'm calling new text. And guys, if you have tried an alternate strategy for handling the text, do share it in the comment section. Uh, it would be great uh, hearing from you. Next up, we define this uh, get completion function to fetch response from Bard for our specific prompts. And now is the time when we start prompting for our specific use case, which is text summarization. This is a matter of experiment really guys to figure out the best prompt for you. For now, you can use this prompt which has uh, worked well for me. I highly encourage you to try out your own version of prompt and uh, do share uh, those in the comment section below uh, along with brief on the result you got from it. This cell might uh, take uh, a few minutes to run. So I'll sort of fast forward the video. So guys, this is the summary of our uh, attention is all you need paper. Finally, in this last code cell, we get to save our uh, summary that we have obtained in a text file. And once we do that, it gets stored in the uh, Google Drive directory folder that we have over here. And with this guys, our text summarizer is now ready. To summarize a different book, all you have to do is to put it in your uh, drive folder. Like I have this uh, Art of War book over here and declare the file name uh, to that book over here in this code cell. Trust me guys, that's really not the end of road for you. There are uh, these bunch of uh, practice use cases I'm putting up for you as a challenge. Do try to solve them and uh, share your code file as a link in the comment section of this video, along with a brief on the use case you prepared uh, the chatbot for. All right, in this last section of our code, we are uh, doing everything we discussed so far in this video, but with chat GPT API now. I'm keeping this code here for your uh, ready reference if you plan on building a chat GPT powered chatbot. For sure, you will get better results with this uh, chat GPT API as compared to BARD. But for now, the chat GPT API is not freely available. So BARD is the next best thing really. But if you can somehow manage to get access to ChatGPT API or you have a paid plan with OpenAI, go ahead and uh, use this code for your uh, use cases. If you get stuck, do ping us in the comment section and we'll get back to you. Guys, pat yourself on the back for reaching till here. In this tutorial, you learned how to build a chatbot powered by Bard and ChatGPT starting from scratch. 
Remember, building our chatbot opens up endless possibilities for creating innovative applications. Whether it's answering questions or summarizing text, chatbots are here to assist us in a variety of ways. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel for uh, more exciting tutorials on data science and generative AI. Also, do not forget to check out the code that we have put for you in the description part of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding to you. Bye.